manpower services firm Century Evergreen has been fined $9,000 by Singapore's data privacy watchdog for a vulnerability that resulted in the download of identification documents of 23. 940 people from its website. These documents included images of their national registration identity, card and RIC. More than 96,880 images of these documents were downloaded from the firm's website over three days in December 2022. The Personal Data Protection Commission PDPC said on Friday. The firm, which supplies part-timers to various industries in Singapore, requires job seekers to submit their identification documents to verify their identity and suitability. The leak was discovered by an unnamed party who realized that images of the identification documents were publicly accessible on Century Evergreen's website and lodged a complaint with the PDPC on December 11, 2022. Following the PDPC's investigations, the firm admitted that the vulnerability, which allowed the unnamed party to access personal data by manipulating its website's address, had existed since the website's launch in 2015. The firm admitted that it failed to include any security requirements to protect personal data in its contract with the vendor who developed and maintained the website. It also admitted that apart from conducting functionality testing when the website was launched, it made no arrangements with its IT vendor to conduct security tests before or after the launch of the website. In its report, the PDPC said the organization's failure to put in place reasonable security arrangements to protect personal data was a matter of gross negligence given the long period of non-compliance between 2015 and 2022. The PDPC said the financial penalties amount was decided after considering several factors including the firm's voluntary admission of the breach, its prompt action to remedy the vulnerability and its poor performance in the most recent financial year. Separately, car rental company Autobahn rent a car was fined $3,000 by the PDPC after its system was hacked, resulting in the theft and sale of 53,000 personal data, sets on a cybercrime forum. A hacker had exploited an unrevoked administrator account with access to the company's car sharing service Shareit's database, which surfaced when an image on Shareit's mobile application was replaced with a pornographic picture. The PDPC said on Wednesday, the photograph was reported to the company through customer feedback on September 24, 2022. The company then traced the photograph to an ex-employee's administrator account, which was not revoked despite the ex-employee leaving in May 2022. It learned that the ex-employee had received an email from an unknown sender on September 10, 2022, stating that his personal laptop had been hacked and demanded a ransom in bitcoins. Using the former employee's admin account, the hacker stole a copy of Sherrod's user's personal data. On October 21, 2022, a cybersecurity solutions provider alerted the company that a Shoreite database containing personal data was put up for sale on a cybercrime forum. It included names, email addresses, mobile phone numbers, NRIC numbers, and general location data, such as Bishan and Toa Payo. On the same day, the company reported the personal data breach to the PDPC. Following the incident, the company also conducted an internal audit of its administrator accounts, enhanced its system to mass NRIC numbers to only show the last four characters and conducted training. The PDPC said the company admitted that it had failed to ensure it had put in place reasonable security arrangements to prevent the unauthorized access or disclosure of the personal data in its possession or control. The company also accepted that the breach would not have occurred if it implemented multi-factor authentication as an additional control for its admin accounts that had access to its sizable user database. The PDPC said a financial penalty was imposed as the personal data breach was 
not insignificant. In addition to the fine, the company was also directed to implement more controls.